Okay, we made it down to the uh, Street Rod Nationals in York, Pennsylvania, Friday and Saturday. And it's hot as hell out there. So, but I put the fuel cell on. And uh, it's out here in the grill area. There's the grill. Then we have, a, I have it stuffed down in there. It's a feet in itself. And then it goes into the scrubber reservoir combination I designed. Goes into the one pound check valve to clean up the condensation. The one thing you're not going to do is use this PVC line in a hot engine. It just gets too soft. I'll find something else. And then I have a, uh, uh, that's the flash arrestor there. And it goes up into the back through the air cleaner into the carburetor. And I'm going to take this apart later because that's it, right inside the Venturi's and they're aluminum. So we'll see if, uh, if it's doing anything to the aluminum in the Venturi area. I'll check that out. Hope not. Then what I did is, uh, here it is, the uh, sticker. I was like 3,331 vehicles so far. That was a uh, Friday I registered. And over here, I put the controller on my dash with the awesome stereo system that's in this vehicle. Powered by Phoenix Gold. Three amplifiers. Sounds pretty good. There's the controller on the dash right under the stereo. It's not on right now. And you can control it right from here. What I'm going to do is now start advancing the timing to get it to pre-ignite, pre-ignition, get the valves to rattle. And then as I'm driving, I can start uh, like uh, giving it more amperage, increase the uh, liters per minute, and see where it goes away. So uh, I'll be doing that. i got a lot of testing to do. I was running it for a couple days. This is the cell with the PVC gaskets. They hold up just great so far. Um, they're not leaking. So, uh, so far so good. So everybody have a great day and stay out of the heat. Talk to you later.